In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to actually change your profile picture in Rocket League, so be sure to watch this video until the very end to prevent any mistakes in the process. This process is actually pretty long, so make sure to actually watch the whole way through. The first thing you're going to do is go to BoxMod and download it. Now, once you have that downloaded, you should be able to set it up. I'm just going to extract it. And once that is done, you'll be able to fully download it onto your computer. And you will be able to first test it in Rocket League. So to do this, you're just going to find the actual download first, set it up. Now, as you can see, you can use the Bacchus Mod bindings. So just make sure that it works. Once you're all loaded up. So the next thing that you're going to do is once you're loaded up is to actually click on F2 and your Bacchus mod should load up. So once it's actually loaded up, you know that it's working. And the next thing that you're going to do is go online to Alpha Console for Bacchus mod and install it. You're going to be prompted to open this and it has actually opened and installed. So once that's done, you're going to need to restart the actual Rocket League with Bacchus Mod, which is super simple. You just open Bacchus Mod and then it will prompt you to open Rocket League. Just like this, next install, and then it will say that you have to launch Rocket League, just like so. Now, if you were to press F2 and actually open Bacchus Mod, you should then be able to quickly find the actual Alpha Console if it has installed. So if you go to Plugins, it will be on Alpha Console, and you're just going to click on Toggle the Alpha Console menu. Now, once you're there, you're going to make sure to find an actual profile picture that you want to use for your actual Rocket League. So, for example, if I just want to do profile picture cat, I'm just going to go onto images and make sure that it is a cute picture and you have to make sure that it is a pretty decent file size. I'm also going to do PNG because if you do not have a PNG picture, then it's going to not be able to actually go onto Rocket League. So I'm going to just save image as. I'm just going to save it to my desktop and save it like that. So once I've actually chosen my profile picture, and saved it as a PNG. I'm going to add it. I'm then going to add it to my Alpha Console. So once I'm actually on the Alpha Console plugin, I'm going to go into Cosmetics. And then as you can see, there's a bunch of different ones. I'm going to actually first find the avatar texture mods, which should be at the top, and then open the directory. It should open this right here. From there, I'm actually going to open a second file explorer and find the PNG that I have actually had. So I'm just going to move it to the avatar textures. So once I've actually moved it to the avatar textures, I am going to change the name so that it's a little bit easier on my end to just cat pick. And now that it is there, I'm going to open this, open with, and I'm going to open it in notepad. Now, as you can see, it opens this texture pack and instead of the actual logo that it's using right now, I'm just going to type in 
the file name and make sure that all of your capitalization and spacing is correct. Going to click Save and then you can X off of it right there. Now, once that is all done, you can X off of these and restart your actual Rocket League. Now, once you're actually in Rocket League, you're just going to click on the texture mods and click on the avatar texture and make sure it is on app alpha console. And then that's all there is to it. Your profile picture is now changed. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.